Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to talk about Zen Cash, how you go about buying it and storing it. So let's get going. So Zen Cash is a relatively new company. Uh, they are uh, a blockchain-based company. They have uh, a token or a cryptocurrency, and they also do other things. They they've got a lot more going for them than just being uh, a cryptocurrency. So I thought I would cover them today and just talk about the basics. You know what what Zen Cash is, uh, how you go about buying a little bit of it, and how you go about storing it. So of course that's going to entail. Uh, downloading uh, some of their wallets and I'm gonna show you a couple options on that this is the Zen cash website uh, it's pretty cool you might want to check it out uh, they got a lot of things going on right now a um, little bit of their features roadmap uh, their team their white paper uh, pretty serious company relatively new so I invite you to check out a little bit about uh, Zen Cash. They uh, have a partnership with IOHK, which is also a pretty cool company. Uh, you want to check out their website. They're involved. Uh, I believe they have some kind of partnership with IOTA as well. So uh, they're a very interesting company. You might want to check out their website too. But I'm not going to go a whole lot into that. Now, if we go over here to uh, Zen Cash on the uh, Coin Market Cap website, you get a little bit of an overview of uh, where they stand against other cryptocurrencies. You can see that they their rank is 123, um, and you can see the current price. And also, uh, a nice thing that you can find out on Coin Market Cap very quickly is how long the company has been around. So, if you're looking at their chart. You can uh, you might you might have your charts defaulted to the one day or the seven day, but if you go to all on any of these cryptocurrencies, they'll let you know exactly how long they've been active. So in the case of Zen Cash, you can see they've been around since June first of two thousand seventeen. So just turned over a year. So uh, that's enough about the company. Let's buy a little bit and then I'll show you how to store it. Well, the first thing we're gonna do is buy some. So let's go back over here to their website and let's say uh, get Zen Cash and they list some of the exchanges that you can buy Zen Cash on. Now, if you're new to the cryptocurrency game, you may not be aware that uh, you just can't run out and buy with cash many cryptocurrencies and Zen Cash is, is one of them. Uh, the easiest way to buy cryptocurrency is on Coinbase. You can uh, connect your bank account or your debit card to that, but they only sell the, the top four or what most people would consider the top four cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Litecoin, uh, Ethereum, and Bitcoin Cash. So uh, you're a little bit out of luck if you want to buy something, uh, any of the other thousands of cryptocurrencies that are out there. So uh, what you have to do, uh, like with Bittrex and Binance or any of these others, in order to buy any cryptocurrency on their exchange, you're going to need to uh, fund the account with cryptocurrency. Uh, almost any cryptocurrency, actually. But uh, the important thing is, is that once you've got your cryptocurrency on the exchange, in order to purchase a different cryptocurrency, you're going to need to own uh, one of the big pairs. So uh, the trading pairs, of, for example, on Binance are uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, Tether, and uh, Binance Coin. So if you want to purchase anything, uh, you're going to need to deposit any cryptocurrency and then sell it for one of these big four trading pairs. So I'm going to go through that. Now I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I'm not going to uh, fund my account from Coinbase, which is what I do in a lot of my videos. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to take one of the cryptocurrencies that I currently own and have stored, and I'm going to use that to fund 
my cryptocurrency account. So uh, I'll take you through that. Now I have my trusty uh, Ledger Nano S that has some cryptocurrency on it. So uh, let's get started. So I'm going to take my Ledger Nano S. I'm going to connect it to my computer. I'm going to enter my PIN. OK, and once I have entered the PIN, I am ready to access my wallet. Now, for today's use case, I'm going to fund my purchase with Litecoin because I just happen to have some Litecoin on my Ledger Nano S. And I want to fund this latest purchase with some cryptocurrency that I already own. So I'm going to take you through that. Now this will answer a few of my uh, viewers, commenters have asked me, how do I sell coins that I have stored on the ledger? So this will be uh, a pretty good use case in that. So uh, let's go over here uh, to the wallet. Now I'm going to use Litecoin today. So what I need to do is uh, go to my Ledger Nano S and go over to my Litecoin. Right? When I get to Litecoin, I'll hit both buttons and enter in. Now, Litecoin is handled by the Ledger with the Ledger Wallet Bitcoin app. It's a little counterintuitive, uh, but that's the way it works. Uh, the Ledger Nano S has these Chrome apps that you can use. Uh, they've got the Bitcoin, the Ethereum, they have a Ripple, but those are the only three apps they have. So, all of the other altcoins that are uh, compatible with the Ledger Nano are accessed through this Ledger Wallet Bitcoin app. So we'll go into that. I'm going to get my browser out of the way here to reduce clutter. All right, and I'm going to go into Legacy because that's where I have the bulk of my Litecoin uh, stored. As you can see here, I've got four Litecoin in this particular wallet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send one Litecoin over to my Binance account. Pretty straightforward. So we, we're going to log into our Binance account. Let's get rid of this guy. And go over here to Binance. All right, so uh, we can go over here to Funds. Now, I do have uh, some balances. Uh, as you can see, I've got a couple of cryptocurrencies here. But I'm not interested in selling either of these today to fund my transaction. So uh, like I said, I'm going to transfer them over from my uh, Ledger Nano S. So as I mentioned, I'm going to use Litecoin. So the first thing I want to do to fund this account is uh, deposit some cryptocurrency. I'm going to use Litecoin. Now, uh, for the purchase of the Zencash, I don't believe I can do a Litecoin to Zencash directly. So we are going to need to convert it over to one of the other trading pairs. So a uh, little bit convoluted, but a good exercise. All right. So I've got the Litecoin wallet on Binance. I'm logged into my account and each account has uh, a cryptocurrency wallet for any cryptocurrency that they support. So I want to deposit some Litecoin into my Binance account, into my Binance Litecoin wallet. So here's their deposit address. I'm going to copy that into my clipboard and then I'm going to switch back over here to my Ledger Nano S Litecoin wallet. I'm going to send all right, where am I going to send two? I'm going to uh, I'm going to send one Litecoin, right? And I'm going to send to that address that we just copied from Binance, right? And I've got my transaction fee set on high, so this will be a fast one. Uh, it looks like I'm going to pay a, a small transaction fee. On the Litecoin network, and or, or in order to get my Litecoin over to the tra the uh, Binance account, all right, and I'm going to click send. Now I need to verify it directly on the device. That's the uh, security that's built in. So I'm going to click uh, that, and it succeeded. Okay, so there we go. So you can see here, if I refresh. I should only have three. <laughs> there we go. So I just sent one out. And as you can see, here is the uh, account. It went out. It's unconfirmed. So we are going to have to wait a bit uh, on Binance for this transaction to fund. In other words, I can't spend the Litecoin right away. Yeah, we can see Litecoin is down here. Uh, now, one nice thing about Binance is I can go over here 
and look at pending deposits okay you can see that I have funded quite a few of my uh, recent transactions with Litecoin I like Litecoin because it's fast so in a few minutes we're gonna be able to see the uh, pending deposit for the Litecoin okay while I'm waiting on that uh, transaction to fund I'm going to uh, start the uh, to get ready on this end I'm going to uh, talk about how you're gonna store your Zen cash first of all let's go over here and double check to make sure I like to link to this little article here where it talks about the latest uh, cryptocurrencies that are supported on the Ledger Nano S and let's just make sure that Zen cash is on here they got Zcash <laughs> uh, and then then they have Zen cash down here okay so we're good to go uh, we need the uh, Zen cash support for the Ledger Nano S so how do we go about doing that well the first thing we need to do is uh, close this wallet and then we're gonna go gonna go over to a different app over here which is the ledger manager app all right so we'll go into the ledger manager now in order to access my ledger nano s in the ledger manager i'm going to need to exit the litecoin app on the device itself all right so i just go down here to quit app hit both buttons and i'm back at the home screen all right now when i'm back at the home screen you'll notice that the uh, ledger manager uh, launches all right and then I have access to all these now here is where I can add and remove the different cryptocurrency apps so let's go down uh, to Zen cash wherever it went there it is and we're gonna add it so the green arrow adds it all right and you'll notice here on the ledger nano s that we should see processing there we go it wants me to confirm I'm gonna confirm and then it should go into processing mode there it goes okay so uh, now uh, I can exit this all right and let me re reduce clutter again here I can go into uh, the ledger nano s app and let's just take a look and see if we've got uh, what are we looking for here Zen cash there it is Zen cash all right so uh, let's hit both buttons we'll go into the wallet and like I said all of the altcoins are handled with the uh, ledger wallet Bitcoin app all right so I'm gonna launch that then it's gonna open up the wallet mind you I've entered the Zen cash app on the ledger and there we go see it didn't ask me which uh, you know if I wanted segwit or normal it doesn't uh, apply in the case of uh, Zen cash and there we go so I've got an empty Zen cash balance now if I want to move Zen cash into this wallet I will go to receive and uh, it shows me the address here see on the wallet so that I know that it's uh, matches right there were some hacks uh, on these apps that were having people send their uh, coins into a different address <laughs> which we want to avoid right we want the address of our ledger nano s so that's just a little confirmation right so uh, I can take this address and paste it into my Binance account and send the Zen cash over in overview so we're not going to do that yet because we haven't purchased our Zen Cash yet. So uh, I'm going to hit this little button here to dismiss the, that uh, window. So we've got uh, Zen Cash ready to go on the Ledger Nano S, and that may be the best way, uh, probably, to store your Zen Cash. But you might also want to explore other ways to store your Zen Cash. Perhaps you don't have a Ledger Nano S and you just want to download a lightweight wallet. So let's go to that. We're going to download the Light Client first. All right, it just pops up and you can drop it anywhere you want. I'm going to uh, create a folder for it within my software folder called Zen Cash. 
and I'll use that folder to uh, sort of handle all of the things that I do inside this wallet. Keep things logically separated. All right, so uh, I can go down to uh, the bottom here and choose Show in Folder to get that uh, folder. So you can see here I've got this wallet in Z uh, my Zencash folder, and uh, let's go ahead and install it. All right, Windows thinks it's a virus. <laughs> uh, you're going to run into this a lot. Uh, you know, I am. Uh, certain that this is the Zen Cash wallet, but uh, a lot of cryptocurrencies are flagged as viruses because people uh, install cryptocurrency miners serendipitously on other people's computers. So uh, most of the antivirus out there treat them as malware. But this is not malware. Uh, we're. we're <laughs> Stay with me, gang. All right, so uh, we're going to hit more info, and we're going to tell it uh, we're going to run it anyway. Right? We walk a fine line when we deal with cryptocurrencies. So I actually had this wallet installed on a previous uh, practice attempt. So what it's asking me here is to open an existing wallet. What you'll be presented with is the create wallet screen, where you're asked to give the wallet a name and uh, create a password, uh, which is pretty standard. So uh, forgive me for this uh, minor flub as we go. All right, and there we go. Now uh, I've launched the wallet here. It's a little different from other cryptocurrency wallets in that you've got all of these uh, addresses here. These are receiving addresses now, uh, and they just sort of, uh, I'm not totally sure why how why they they do it this way there's probably it probably has to do with your privacy and anonymity uh, but that's the way this wallet functions so if we want to deposit see well we need a deposit address so what we're going to need to do is go over here and choose one of these uh, addresses right and you can also I notice you can uh, click on it and actually change the address Okay, so we could call this uh, main, and we won't put a space, <laughs> receiving. All right, just uh, so that we it can stand out a little more. And I can click save all day long, and it won't go away. <laughs> okay, so there we go. I've got a, a main receiving address. Now I can uh, hit this down arrow and create a deposit address okay now that's a Zen cash deposit address and that would be what we would use uh, you can scan it with uh, a phone if you've got using that type of app but we'll just basically copy this into our clipboard and paste that into Binance in order to uh, send funds into this wallet okay so uh, the name of this wallet is Ari Zen all right and then let's go over to the other use case which would be the full client. Let's check over here on Binance just while we're at it and uh, refresh here and see there we go. We've got our uh, uh, incoming uh, deposit which is uh, its processing. All right, so while we're waiting for that money to uh, confirm in uh, our uh, Binance account, let's try the full client. All right, so here is the Zencash wallet. Uh, it's a zip file, and then they also would like us to verify the file uh, with a hash, a SHA-256 hash checksum. So I'm gonna go through that. Now they have a link here to uh, a, a piece of software, Quick Hash GUI. Uh, it's probably something maybe uh, free um, where you could donate, which is kind of cool. Uh, if you don't already have a SHA sum checker, you can check SHA sums in uh, Windows on the command line. Uh, I already have a SHA sum checker, but you could also choose to download their SHA sum checker, the one that they're recommending. I don't believe this is uh, theirs. So uh, let's give it a try. Why not? Ah, okay. So they want me to buy it. All right. So I'm not going to buy it. You could probably figure out a way to get this thing free. I don't know. Non-code sign downloads. 
Oh, I see. If you wanted a uh, code signed, uh, you have to pay. It's not expensive. It's a couple of bucks, right? So uh, let's go down here to Windows. I don't see Windows. The latest version for Windows. I'll go ahead and download that. I'll go ahead and put it in the Zen Cache folder. I might logically, it would make more sense to uh, put it in its own folder, but I'm not going to do that at the moment. I'm just going to keep it simple. Let's download this guy. Open up and see that's the thing you know uh, they've got the code sign one in case you you know are a little more uh, security conscious I'm going to unzip this guy right here and let's take a look here I got the Windows 64 version uh, okay so I'm not gonna run it at the moment because I haven't downloaded the wallet yet so uh, we'll take care of that Let's go over here to full client again. Oh, I'm sorry, we were right here. Uh, let's download the uh, wallet. Uh, we'll put that in the Zencash folder as well. Take it a minute or two to download. All right, and then I'm just gonna click this little arrow here and choose show in folder. And there we go. Now, in this case, you'll notice that the last time I just uh, willy-nilly decompressed that quick cache. I'm not going to do that with the Zen Cache wallet. I want to make sure that it is, in fact, the right wallet. And I'm going to do the checksum uh, check on it. All right, so on the zip file before we decompress it. So we'll use the quick cache. Now, many of you might go, oh, why didn't you, you know, if you don't trust this, and but you're trusting it with this app, then uh, you know you're contradicting yourself. Well, in a way, I am, and I do have another one that I could use uh, that I already have on my computer that I trust for checking SHA sums, or I could use the uh, Windows uh, command line SHA sum checking. But I, I'm just gonna uh, do it the way that. And for those of you that are security conscious, pay the two pounds or euros or whatever it was. Uh, to get the code signed one, but then you'll have to go through the whole code signing process Yeah, it's it's a rabbit hole. I'll tell you gang. All right, so uh, let's do this guy We're gonna launch this puppy All right, we're gonna check a shot shot. I've never used this software before <laughs> we're gonna use SHA-256 All right Alright, so we want the file that we're going to check. Uh, we can drag and drop it or select it. Alright, it is going to be this guy. Alright, it has a hash. Ah, and there it is. Bling, blang, bloom. Now let's go over here and see, is that the hash we're looking for? Look, it started with a 3, right? But why go, uh, you know, uh, character by character? Let's see if I can move it down here. See, there we go. See, we got the 3EDF, blah, 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 3D. It looks pretty darn close, but I'm going to cut it and paste it in here, right? And expected hash matches the computed file hash, okay? So uh, the developers ran this transformation on their end and they generated a hash and they uh, provided that hash here right and then after I downloaded mine I did the same mathematical transformation on my file and generated a hash on my end and they matched and that is cryptography that means that the file that I have is the exact same file that they had so it did not get altered or corrupted in transport and it, it was not switched by some man in the middle this is verification software verification all right so now that we have it and we trust it let's go ahead and uh, decompress it and run it so I'm gonna right click and use 7-zip to decompress you may be using WinZip or the Windows uh, Windows has native support for decompression too now let's go inside here and there we go. 
All right, so we've got the application. We have the icon. Let's launch this guy and see what happens. Now my assumption is it's probably going to be one of those wallets. The wallet needs to download the Z cryptographic proving key. This will be done once. Press, uh, please be patient. Press OK. So it looks like it has its own built-in uh, verification process in addition to the one that we just performed on the zip file. Okay, so it downloads the key, uh, it verifies the key, and uh, then it's satisfied that this is a, a good copy of the wallet. It launches. Pretty cool. Okay, there we go. Now, uh, let's see. La la la, there's a lot to read here. It's experimental. Uh, it's not compatible with some other stuff. They don't encrypt the wallet, so um, it's going to be stored in a, uh, a text format. Uh, and they warn us that if your system is compromised, that they could steal your Zencash. We're all adults. <laughs> you know, a lot of people talk about what, you know, secure ways to handle keys and whatnot. Um, you, the, the first and foremost defense is to keep your computer clean of viruses and malware and intruders. So you have uh, virus protection, you have malware protection, and you, uh, you know, you're smart. You don't click weird links, uh, you know, that kind of thing. All right, so uh, we're going to get the, uh, this out of the way. Let's take a look at this guy where we're at here. I'm going to reduce clutter back here. All right, so uh, it's synchronizing the uh, Zcash blockchain. Um, I've got I'm connected. So this is the full node wallet. As you can see here, um, it's got the uh, transparent private balances, which is pretty cool. And uh, it's got the uh, send and receive transactions over here. All right, so this would be the receiving address of this Zencash wallet. And we could send Zencash into this wallet using this receiving address. But what you want to keep in mind, go back over here to the overview, is that the blockchain uh, for the, the Zencash blockchain has not, it is not completely synced up. As you can see, it's going to take quite a while down here. Uh, so if you were to send funds to this wallet, they're not going to show up or reflect in the balance until the blockchain is completely synced. Okay? Okay, so I've shown you three different ways uh, or three different wallets, how to get them ready for the transfer. So we've got the Ledger Nano S and we've got the uh, Light client and then we have the, the full client here, the Zencash desktop client. Okay, so we have three different wallets that we can use to store our Zen Cash. So let's go back over to uh, Binance and see where we stand. Let's refresh this, and it's completed. Okay, so now in our funds we've got Litecoin. All right, we got one Litecoin here. So we want to get some Zen Cash, right? So let's take a look at Zen Cash. There it is. And let's look at the trading pairs that are available. Okay, so we've got the BNB, the BTC, and the ETH markets. They don't have Tether for this one. So there's only three other cryptocurrencies that we can use to buy Zencash, being BNB, which is the Binance coin, Bitcoin, and Ethereum. I'm going to use BNB. Uh, if you buy the Binance coin, uh, to trade with, they give you a little break on the transaction fees. So that's what I'm going to do. So uh, let me get those. Let's go over here to exchange. And we're going to do uh, BNB and Litecoin, LTC. As you know, I just transferred Litecoin in there. So here we go. Uh, I can sell my Litecoin. As you can see down here, I have a balance of Litecoin. So what I want to do is I want to sell all my Litecoin 
for BNB. All right, that's what I'm doing right here. So I'm going to do 100% of all the Litecoin, and it's going to give me 6 BNB. So I'm just going to click Sell Litecoin. That's just kind of a bing, bing, bing. Orders. Open orders. This is still open. Ah, oh, okay. So it went through, obviously, quickly. I'm not a big trader. Uh, I'm just trying to do the conversion here. So uh, I'm not the smartest trader in the world. I'm just doing the best I can to convert these cryptocurrencies for you so that you can see the mechanics of what we're doing. All right, so I think that that went through for us and I should have some BNB, yeah. So now I've got BNB. Now, uh, let's get that Z Zencoin, right? Let's go over here to Zencoin and we're gonna trade and we're gonna trade uh, on the BNB market because we have some BNB. So we're gonna buy some Zen. As you can see up here, I've got an available balance of BNB and I'm ready to go. So uh, I wanna buy the most Zen that I can with my BNB. So it's gonna be about five uh, Zen coins. They've given me uh, a current, uh, I've, you know, I'm doing 100%. I've got uh, the price of BNB, current price of BNB for Zen and I'm gonna click buy Zen. All right, it, lim it created the limit order for me. And we can check the status of that by going over here to open orders. Ah, that one went through right away too. I'm a happy camper, right? I do everything in the interest of speed. All right, and there we go. So I got my Zen Cash, okay? So let's send the Zen Cash to one of our wallets. And in uh, today's use case, I'm going to use my Ledger Nano S to store my Zen Cash. You could store it however you want, all right? But the principle is the same, all right? So we'll go over here. Uh, I've jibber jabbered a while, so uh, I need to re-enter my pin. I'm gonna reopen the wallet, and I wanna receive my Zen coin, right? So I need to display the address on the device. All right, I'll be able to double check by just checking the address here, right? Just confirm that that is the exact same address that's being shown. So I'm going to copy this address. All right, and put that in my clipboard. And I'm going to go back over here to my Zen Cash wallet and choose withdrawal. And I'll just paste that easy peasy, okay? And that is a Zen address, okay? It starts with a Z-N. Zen Cash address, right? Now uh, I can send over my available. I'll just click here. And they're going to charge me a small transaction fee. You know what? Let's uh, throw all caution to the wind today. I'm just going to take three for my uh, Ledger Nano S. And I'll save the other two for the other two wallets, just as a demonstration for you. I hit submit. I put in my Google authentication code. All right, and then uh, they're gonna send me an email, which I'm gonna need to confirm, which I just heard come in on my phone. And I'm gonna confirm that withdrawal. And there we go. Now we can check over here in uh, transaction history, in withdrawals, and I should see that they're processing that withdrawal. Not quite three, they took a little bit out. And we can uh, follow the progress from here and see how long it takes for the Zen to show up in our wallet. This is kind of a use case test on the Zen blockchain to see how fast it is. All right, now I don't want to cloud the issue too much here. I know it gets you, people might say, gee, why did you send it to three different wallets? For demonstration purposes, okay? So I'm going to check uh, the light client. All right, so I, I have the wallet open now. 
All right, so uh, I'm going to deposit into this uh, address by clicking this down arrow. I'm going to copy this address, the Zen wa the Zen Cash address. I'm going to Control C to copy. Let's go over here to Binance, and let's go back over here to Balances and to our Zen Cash, and we're going to do another withdrawal that Light Wallet, and in this case, we're going to just do one. All right, we're going to send that to the light client and see how that goes. All right, I'm going to get 0.90. Why don't we do a 0.1 just so we get a full amount? Whatever. <laughs> 0.01. All right, there, I'm going to get a little bit more than one. All right, I paid the fee by doing that. All right, so I'm going to hit submit and enter my Google Authenticator. All right, I got to go back over here and confirm that email. There it came. All right, I'm going to confirm that withdrawal as well. And that sends uh, some uh, coin over to the uh, light client. So let's check here. Okay, I s now I have two different transactions processing. So now let's send some to the uh, Zen Cash wallet, right? This is the address. Ah, okay, so I can do a new private address. Let's see how that goes. All right, so it generated a new private address. They're going to want me to back up the wallet after creating this address. Survive any data loss uh, to uh, an external drive or an external uh, flash drive. That'd be the best way. Uh, when you're dealing with these types of wallets, uh, you have to be very careful. Keep everything backed up and don't forget your passwords because there is no password reset on this stuff. This is big boy stuff. All right, This is for advanced users. But I believe if you're uh, interested in mining, you may want to be running the full node. All right, so there's my uh, private, long private address. That's pretty cool. So uh, I'm going to copy, uh, going to copy the value, right? Let's go over here to um, Binance and see if I can do that. Hmm. Let's do withdrawal. All right, and it's going to be that long private type address. It's pretty cool. Let's see if this works, huh? Whoa, okay. Long address. All right, and in this case, I'm just going to send the available amount. I'm going to send the whatever's left over, right? So we got the address, we got the amount. Let's hit submit and enter the Google Authenticator code. All right, 102584. Come on, man, what the fuck? Okay. All right. Uh, I believe what's going on is that the uh, uh, Binance is not recognizing that long private address. Now, I believe those long, and this has happened to me before with other cryptocurrencies, I believe that long private address only works when sending between Zen Cash wallets, right? It has to be a wallet to wallet transfer can't do that from an exchange. So let's go back over here to our uh, full client, right? And we're going to use this address instead, right? This should work. All right, let's put that in there. All right, and then let's do another submit. So that, it took that. So that's really what's going on. I can't uh, use their uh, private address scheme when I'm withdrawing from uh... ah I got an alert that I just got some money yay so we know one uh, one thing worked um, let's go back over to uh, the email confirmation let's uh, confirm that uh, third withdrawal alright and now we can go down here and see uh, they say on that they're still processing here, but let's look at our light client, and lo and behold, we have that uh, that one Zen that we transferred over, that Zen cash. So uh, that was successful. Uh, 
All right. Ah, here. See so here on our overview. Uh, we've got uh, one Zen. I'm not really sure what this invalid time date means. Maybe it just hasn't uh, completely uh, confirmed itself yet. Why don't we check our Ledger Nano S and see what we got? Hey, lo and behold, we've received it in the Ledger Nano S as well. Uh, I would probably recommend that for now, unless you're an advanced user. It's probably best if you want to store and hold your Zen Cache to use the Ledger Nano S. Most secure way. These others are just kind of uh, at, for demonstration. But we got our Zen here. And like I said, uh, it's going to be quite some time before it actually shows up in this wallet because we have to wait for the blockchain to fully synchronize. Uh, and that is uh, going to be quite a while here. It's coming up on 10%. It may not take as long as, say, a Bitcoin or a Litecoin wallet because the blockchain is only a year old. So uh, we might see it in an hour or so, maybe two or three, uh, but I'm not going to uh, wait uh, for that. I might tag that on to the end of the video. So uh, that's it. So we talked what, what Zencash is. Um, it's more than just a cryptocurrency. I showed you how to buy some. I showed you how to download and install three different wallets. And then I showed you how to transfer money from the exchange into the wallet and some of the pitfalls that uh, cropped up along the way. So there's more to using these wallets that I didn't have really have a chance to cover, but this is enough to get you started. Uh, you'll wanna, uh, if you get the wallet, I would suggest you read through the manual, figure out how you do the backups, the imports, uh, the exports of the private keys and the wallet data files and store them somewhere safely. But uh, this is just the main overview uh, download, install, and transfer some funds. So before I take off, I would like to let you guys know that uh, every Friday night I do a live stream. Uh, call it the live Q&A from LA where I field questions. Um, I'm not a financial advisor and I don't always know the best coins to buy, but I do enjoy uh, talking to you guys and giving you my opinions, uh, mostly how-to kind of stuff but I invite and uh, I'll field any and all questions. So I hope to see you there. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, please. And if you like my content, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. When you subscribe, there's a bell next to the subscribe button, which will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new videos. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.